Hello students, welcome to EPG Parshala. This is Professor Vinti Dawar from Kurukshetra University of Kurukshetra. Today we are going to talk on module Employment Opportunities from the paper Food Service Management. Dear students, the food service industry offers very good job opportunities globally at all levels. Millions of people work for the food service industry directly or indirectly in India and also in each country. Every food service establishment, whatever the size may be, right from a conventional tea shop to an exclusive fine dining restaurant, transport catering, welfare catering, theme park, guest house, club, and so on, depend on trained manpower. We have already discussed in different modules that a person who is employed in food service industry may be working for commercial sector or the welfare sector. Even if you go to a temple, food is being served there as well. Somebody has to work there to cook the food, to serve the food. So opportunity lies there also. You can find an opportunity of a job in food service industry at every nook and corner of your city, a big city, in a metro, nationally and also internationally. Everyone involved in the handling of raw, processed, cooked food and beverages directly or indirectly will be working for the food service industry. Let's know the main objectives of this module. To explore employment opportunities in food service industries. To know the skills required for different positions and also I'll inform in this module that what all are the benefits of working in food service industry. The main fields where food service professionals can be placed are being shown on the screen. The first one is welfare sector such as convalescent centers, hospitals, hostels, industrial care military catering, old age homes and prisons. The commercial sector include bars, function catering, pubs, recreation centers and restaurants of all types. Transport catering is another revenue which consists of flight catering, railway catering, ship or cruise catering and also road or motorway catering. The main job positions in a food service industry are mainly in different areas of restaurants and if we go one by one and we discuss each area, we can divide these areas into two main, the food and beverage service and the food production area. The food and beverage service area is the one which we call the restaurants, the bars, and these have the following positions. The food and beverage manager. Now, how can one be recruited as food and beverage manager? Because he is or she supervises and coordinates all activities related to food and beverage from purchasing, receiving, production, service, clearing to stocks, etc. The key skills required for this position are management skills to ensure customer satisfaction and repeat patronage, deliverance of high quality service, knowledge and compliance of applicable rules and regulations, optimize the supply chain and the use made of raw materials and inventory. The person should be good team manager, good leader and a team player. He or she should possess sales ability, thoroughness, adaptability, 
spirit of initiative, financial awareness, such as he should be able to look after the finances of the department, but the basic qualifications required are A-level professional in service-related subjects. That if the person is from production, he should have a degree in production. A master's degree is always welcome, but a bachelor's degree in hotel management, hospitality management, and allied subjects. Experience of working at high positions in food and beverage sector for minimum of five to 10 years is essential. And you require minimum two references who can speak about your skills and your work. The ones with whom you have already worked are known as references. Let's discuss the position of restaurant management. The entire operations of the restaurant are under the control of the restaurant manager. He or she must have a thorough knowledge of the latest trends in catering operations, guest psychology, and maintain good rapport with guests. Must possess adequate educational qualifications. A degree in hospitality is always welcome. Experience of minimum 5 to 10 years of working in food service industry. Excellent professional skills. Knowledge of preparing budget for a financial year. Developing and implementing sales promotional activities. Setting up service standards for all dishes and drinks served in the restaurant. Menu planning for daily operations and special occasions. The restaurant manager has to work with the team to plan the menu. But how is it done? It's done basically by involving the chef, the restaurant staff, to get the feedback from the guests, the food and beverage manager, food and beverage cost controller, and the top management, that is the owners also. So each one of them will give their input and only then a menu can be planned and updated from time to time. It's essential that we keep on updating our menu. If we do not change our menu, the visitors will be feeling monotonous. They will not come back to the restaurant. To pull them to a restaurant, the menu has to be updated from time to time. Then, this person is responsible for recruiting staff and training them. Time to time, training is also required. Latest technology is coming up. Latest serving techniques are coming up. We need to update our staff that how to serve a particular drink, how to prepare a mocktail, a cocktail, and what accompaniments will go with it, what garnishing is required, what kind of trays are required. Each small or big detail has to be worked out. The person should be good at maintaining relationships with guests. Any visitor coming to the restaurant for the second time and being greeted by the waiter or the supervisor by his name will be won over by the service staff. Why I am saying so? If you go to a particular restaurant, and the waiter greets you with your name. Welcome, Miss, Mr. So-and-so. Immediately, you will be swept off your feet. And you will come again and again to that restaurant and look for the same person. Because that leaves indelible impression. The next skill required from restaurant manager is handling guest complaints. In food service industry, dear students, 
never forget visitor or guest is the god he or she is always right if they are complaining you need to know different ways to satisfy your customer another skill required from restaurant manager is evaluating performance appraisal of who of the staff working under him or her and identify the training needs analyze sales to know fast moving dishes least preferred most preferred cuisine in case of multi cuisine i hope you have heard star dishes flow horses puzzles if not what are star dishes star dishes are the one which are very popular among guests and also are profit oriented the establishment is getting profit by selling those and the dishes are very popular so the maximum number on the menu should be of stars then i said there are puzzles as the name itself suggests these are neither popular nor profit oriented but to give a long list of dishes on the menu the food service managers are compelled to keep dishes such dishes people may not ask also i said are not going to bring any profit but there are flow horses which are going to bring profit but are not popular which cost less when you prepare but we can always keep few dishes which are flow horses as well the most preferred cuisine in case of multi cuisine restaurant can be explored you can always explore which particular cuisine is popular in a particular place somewhere it may be chinese at other places it may be lebanese somewhere it may be iranian dishes or mughlai dishes or maybe even indian punjabi dishes south indian dishes then the restaurant manager is also supposed to know what is the seat turnover now i'll explain this term to you as well what do we mean when we say seat turnover seat turnover means when once the guests have seated the whole restaurant is full a particular table gets free another set of guests come occupy the seats so the turnover for that particular table is 2 then a third set comes then a fourth similarly on each table we turn over again and again and that is known as seat turnover your capacity in the restaurant may be only 50 but at a particular meal you may be serving 350 guests so the seat turnover will be 7 then you should also know average revenue per in restaurants we are serving a la carte we are also serving table dining by now you must have known what is a la carte and what is table dining in a la carte the guests have choice they can make a choice and order as per the dishes listed on the menu card a particular set of guests orders three dishes which are very expensive and are going to cost 3000 rupees whereas the other set of customers may ask for a total menu for 300 rupees whereas another may ask for 1000 so on and so forth but all these are put together and we bring out the revenue per cover that if we have put 50 covers out of the whole day's sales what is the revenue per cover 
which helps the restaurant manager in making decisions for future purchasing and maintaining restaurant equipment furniture linen cutlery crockery glassware and other special service equipment is also one skill required from restaurant manager we have already discussed the food and beverage manager and the restaurant manager now we will discuss medium and bottom level job positions in food and beverage service the first one is the head waiter the head waiter must possess adequate educational qualifications a degree or diploma in hospitality experience of minimum 3 to 8 years of working in food service industry good knowledge and must show excellent skills in preparing duty rotas inspecting the mise en place and mise en scene carried out by the staff i have already discussed mise en place and mise en scene with you inspecting personal grooming of staff briefing staff on service procedure assisting restaurant manager in his duties allotting stations to waiters and rotating staff between stations so as to give chance to all waiters to serve all tables of the restaurant we all know some tables are most preferred ones and some are least preferred and to ensure even distribution of workload they are also responsible for taking reservations guiding customers to their reserved table and assisting in seating when they assist in seating they draw the chair specially for female guests and make the guest comfortable taking charge of the restaurant in absence of restaurant manager maintaining restaurant logbook preparing daily restaurant sales report ensuring cleanliness of restaurant and service equipment maintaining restaurant stock coordinating with housekeeping front office kitchen stores maintenance and accounts so all these skills are required to be appointed as head waiter now the station waiter he or she is in charge of a particular restaurant section with four to six tables seating up to 20 cups the essential qualifications for station waiter are once again a degree or diploma or certificate in food service with an experience of minimum 1 to 2 years he or she must possess skills in doing the mise en place necessary for all the stations sending soiled table linen for laundry collecting clean and laundered linen laying covers according to the meals to be served and restaurant guidelines setting up the sideboards with required items making sure his station is clean and presentable taking orders if the head stage waiter is busy collecting food directly either from kitchen or through comms serving food and beverages to customers seated in his station as per the restaurant standards must remember what each customer has ordered and should serve accordingly waiters normally decide chair number 1 2 3 4 clockwise or anti clockwise and they take orders like that and deliver orders like that guests are offended if they are not served their order so they must be skillful to remember that which particular guest ordered what food 
should also have skill in placing accompaniments and condiments at the right time in the right place. Presenting bill in a folder, accepting payment and returning the change if any. It's the duty of the waiter to return the change. May get tip. The customer may say that you can keep it, but it's the duty, it's the skill that politely he should give back the change. If bill is signed by a residential guest, then he has to send it to the front office so that it can be charged to guest's account. Clearing and relaying the tables. Then comes the waiter. The waiter assists the station waiter and the junior station waiter, if at all there is one. He, she does most of the basic mise en place work, must have knowledge and experience in what? Cleaning and wiping cutlery, crockery, and glassware. This is very, very important and essential. Collecting cleaned table linen. Assisting in setting up the sideboard from where the service is to be made. Assisting in general preparations such as filling crevet sets, preparing candles, pot bays, napkin folding in different styles as per the meal. Fetching food from kitchen, assisting with clearing the table of dirty items and carrying soiled crockery and cutlery to wash away. The waiter is also responsible for serving coffee, soft drinks, vegetable sauces that do not need much of service skills, but this he has to do. Then the next position are the apprentice, are also known as bus boy. They are learners and mainly does the clearance work. As the name suggests, apprentice, the one who is learning. They may also be given cleaning and wiping of service equipment, misa activities, so on and so forth. They will not be asked to attend any of the guest tables. Why? They are very new to the job. One needs good personality and be humble join at this position. Sommelier, also known as wine butler or wine maker, altogether a different category. He or she is responsible for taking the order and the service of apparatus, wines, cigars and cigarettes. This person should know how to collect orders from the dispense bar, controlled by the dispense barman, therefore needs good knowledge and experience. Let me tell you one incident. At one particular incident, a apprentice, he was an apprentice, he was asked to work as a sommelier. He didn't know that up to what level he has to carry the tray of beer. Beer has effervescence. So, the effervescent got onto the clothes and the face of the guest. That is why apprentices are not made to serve. And then the position is of the carver. A carver is responsible for carving. You know, carving is slicing the meat and poultry in the presence of guess and needs excellent skills of carving. The food production department. Food production is another area of food service. Though the jobs and duties of staff members also vary from kitchen to kitchen, so do the titles attached to the jobs. But certain positions and titles do occur throughout the industry. Chef the cuisines also known as the executive chefs or head chefs. This position is responsible for quality of the products, for hiring management of kitchen personnel, 
for controlling costs and meeting budgets and for coordinating with other departments. So then what are the qualifications required? The qualifications, skills and expertise are needed in making new menus, purchasing, costing and scheduling of employees. An executive chef requires a flair for the vision to accomplish company's goals, anticipate guests' needs and wishes and surpass their expectations that what is coming on to the market as new taste, what is a new development, what all new recipes he can evolve, which can attract people to that particular restaurant. He or she should be able to identify and develop new products and equipment to enhance the product quality, develop and define quality standards of food preparation and presentation to the employees, distribute the work within the kitchen staff, the quality of dishes, should be able to ensure availability of stock and raw ingredients by proper planning and coordination with purchase and stores, should maintain coordination with engineering department to carry out preventive maintenance program in the kitchen, recommend menu pricing in coordination with f &B director, manager, controller and banquet manager, should be able to maintain high standards of hygiene and cleanliness of the kitchen areas, equipment and staff, analyze and monitor costs, material cost, energy cost and staff costs to ensure high profitability on a regular basis and initiate corrective action whenever, wherever necessary should also be able to prepare capital and operational budget in order to achieve desired profitability for the establishment, should be able to identify which staff member needs training in which particular area and should arrange the training. Skill development and multifunctionality are important skills which are required from executive chef. The sous chefs are known as under chefs. They are the principal assistants to the head chefs and aid the chefs in general administration and in particular supervising food production and service. They are the acting head chefs in the absence of the head chefs. A sous chef must be competent to perform the duties of the executive sous chef during his or her absence should be able to conduct training sessions of staff to improve work procedures, quality, minimize the waste. This person is responsible for approving food raw materials, requisitions from stores, for stations assigned and in the executive sous chef's absence for the entire main kitchen. What I mean is that when the executive chef is not there, the sous chefs have to take the responsibilities of the executive chef. They have to approve the food raw material whichever is being received by the kitchen and also check the requisitions which are given by each station and sent to the store. This person is responsible for all food production in areas assigned. There are different sections in the kitchen which we will be discussing later and also the overall food cost control has to be managed without affecting standards and specifications. He should maintain account for usage, consumption, spoilage, control of foodstuff produced or stored. Sometimes we put things in a store and then we forget. Such costs heavily to a food service industry. That is why a skill is required that every day that person should be checking the stores particularly the cold stores, the dry stores, so that the food can be utilized well in time. The person is also responsible for the preparation of mise en place. By now you must have understood what is mise en place. Mise en place is that when we put all the required things at a particular place before we start that process, such as when you are cooking, you assemble all the things which you require for cooking that particular dish. So you put those at a place that is called mise en place. The chef gardemangers, also known as the pantry chefs, are responsible for all cold food presentations which might include or those salads, sandwiches, plates, 
juices, etc. Butcher chefs, they are in charge of the butcher shop, which prepares beets, fish and poultry as desired by the user departments of the kitchen. So what are the skills required for these people? The skills required are they should be able to identify, to look the best quality of meat, the fresh fish and poultry, and also the storage, the cooking methods, that which methods will suit with which particular beet or which particular fish. Pastry chefs, as the name suggests, they enjoy a different status and the work of their department is generally separated from the main kitchen. This department is self-contained in the matter of cold storage, machinery and equipment. These people are responsible for all hot and cold desserts, which may include cakes, pastries, ice creams. So the essential skills required to get this position are they should be good bakers, they should be able to decorate cakes, pastries, desserts and present them in a garnished way. The Bollingers. Who are Bollingers? These are the people who bake the bread and the crescents, the rolls for a particular establishment. How do we get this post? To reach there, you need to have a certification in bakery along with the degree or diploma in hospitality management. The potagers. The potage is soup. The potage word is, has come from French. And the meaning is all kinds of soups. So people on this position are responsible to prepare all soups and stocks, which may include cream soups, consomes, bisques, broths, national soups, essences, and such types of all soups. The enthromers. It's pronounced as enthromers. It's again a French word, which means vegetable cooks. So one can get this position if a person can prepare all vegetable dishes, all potato dishes, egg dishes, and farinaceous dishes. Now, what do we mean by the term farinaceous again? All starchy dishes which you are preparing from potatoes, from sago, and from uh, roots are all farinaceous dishes. The chef rotisser, term rotisser means roasting cooks. Now the term is denoting it to yourself that a person who is roasting, roasting what? Roasting all kinds of meats, meat dishes, braised meats, their section is also responsible for deep frying of foods. A person to get this post must be well aware about the ovens, the types of ovens, the rotisseries, the roasts, which part of meat can be roasted, should have good skills in carving as well. The saucers, as again the name says, all saucers and sauce related dishes by now, you must have known about the mother sauces and the derivative sauces. So these people are responsible for preparing all types of sauces. So first of all, they should be skillful to know the sauces and the ways to prepare them and also to preserve them, along with a degree or a certification in making sauces. Essential qualifications also include that if he or she gets a reference that he or she has been working in a particular uh, eating joint as sauce cook will add to the appointment of this person. Banquet chefs. This position people are responsible for all food to be prepared for banquet functions and also for buffet in coffee shop. They should have the experience of arranging buffets or arranging banquets. So the next is the chef tutoring. They are the reliever chefs who take charge in the absence of the section chefs. They may be asked to take over any particular section. So they have to be multi-skilled cooks who would fit into any job in case of emergencies. So you should be good at baking, should be good at steaming, should be good at grilling. Now there are different section chefs. They are known as 
chef the pate. Pate means sections. And escoffier, the chef renowned in the whole world, gave us different sections. So all chef de pates are supervisors in charge of a clearly defined set of activities within the kitchen. They are the station heads and must be skilled to cook dishes of perfect quality. They should also have a certain degree administrative skills. Why? They have to manage the whole section. They should be able to plan and carry out production schedules for the section. Must be well equipped to take care of prompt and accurate service by all kitchen staff in the his or her control. Implement hotel standards on food quality preparation presentation in the whole section. Must be aware to change the systems and procedures to increase efficiency and to improve service levels. All the kitchen equipment and records are basically maintained by chef departments. Standards set by executive chef on food quality, preparation, and presentation are the responsibility of the chef department. Must check that inter-kitchen food transfers are accurate and conform to hotel policy. Proper mise en in his or her production section for speedy preparation and service. Hygiene and cleanliness of the kitchen area, equipment as per predetermined backup standards. Production planning with his or her commerce, demi chef the party and concerned higher kitchen authorities. Then who are the demi chef the party? Just now I mentioned. They are also in a supervisory capacity. They take charge in the absence of the chef they assist the chef de parties in performing all the activities listed for chef de parties. Commerce. There are commerce 1 and commerce 2 levels. Commerce 1 is a senior position than 2. They are the assistants to the chef de parties. However, in most hotels now, the commerce 1 and 2 are classified only as commerce and they are simply to assist the cooks. What are the qualifications and skills required? Basically, these are newly appointed apprentices, in other words, we should say, but they are appointed fresh and they should be able to finish food orders quickly without compromising on quality and quantity standards. Minimize food waste. They should also get ready the required mise en place, which I already discussed with you in different kitchen sections, and maintain hygiene and cleanliness in the workstation which he or she is getting. Prepare food as per preset organizational standards on quality and quantity. Maintain all kitchen equipments in excellent condition. Ensure fetching requisitions as per requirements. Coordinate with other food and beverage sections, engineering, housekeeping wherever it is required and attend behavioral, vocational and skill related training to enhance his or her skills and develop multifunctionality. Apprentices. These are the trainees who help out in day to day operations. This position defines a classical sense that they are combined, altered and adapted to fit the specific goals of the individual operation. They are simply assistants. They are learning through working. And the skills required are they should be certified in cooking or service and maybe having no experience at all. The different positions in banquets are banquet manager, assistant banquet manager, and the other 
team which is working under him. This department functions under the control of mainly the banquet manager. It is responsible for organizing various types of formal and informal functions within and off the premises. It has become very popular to organize banquets outside the hotels. So a hotel or any food service establishment people, they go to a particular place, they organize the banquet, but give their name there also. As I already said, that this department functions under banquetic manager. The banquetic manager is in charge of all functions. So he or she must have skills and experience in event management and showcase skills necessary for briefing the banquet head waiter about function details and getting it organized, prepare budget for the event, plan menu for various functions and different price ranges, procure equipment for banquets, should be able to devise and implement sales proportional plan, should be able to recruit and train staff, and should be able to communicate with customers and guests. Banquetic head waiter or the supervisor who is next to the banquetic manager should possess various skills such as engaging staff on casual basis for functions. We all are aware that when banquets are arranged, we need casual staff who could work for us for a particular day, for a particular function, for a particular meal, and then they are paid and they are sent away. So this person must have good contacts to arrange the casual staff. Their services, the casual staff services are terminated at the end of the function. Banqueting head or waiter should execute the function according to the instructions of the banqueting manager should be able to brief the banquet waiters, should be able to get the hall set for function, supervise the mise en Now here the mise en would change. The mise en in banquet would be arranging the tables, the chairs, the seating, arranging the tents, the you know, different places where people can sit, salad counters, the different counters, the snack bars. That is the mise here. So he or she should be able to supervise each section of the mise allocate duties to the staff, maintain stock, should be able to maintain the logbook so that whenever we require it, next time should be able to check it. The dispense barman. This is usually a temporary dispense bar which is set up during an event and the dispense barman may work temporarily or maybe a permanent employee. For both the positions, he or she should be well aware about collecting stuff of alcoholic drinks from the main bar against the requisitions, allocate bar stock to various functions, set up the bars and the bar accessories, organize bar stuff, allot duties to bar stuff, control bar stock and cash during the service. Should be skillful and should be able to maintain the bar. Permanent banquetic wait staff must be good at cleaning and wiping cutlery, crockery, glassware, arrange tables, set up buffet counters, set up covers, mise scene. Now, what are mise scene? Mise scene is when we create an ambience, we arrange ambience by arranging tables, by putting curtains, by putting clothes, by arranging flowers and music and the different uh, stations, service stations, snack bars beautifully. So that is the visa scene. He or she should be able to fetch dishes from kitchen beforehand and ensure the proper disposal, serving guests as per the instructions given well-groomed personality and clearing and cleaning hall after the event. So what are the skills required and what qualifications he or she requires? For such staff, there are no formal qualifications required. They are only hired for a particular event. For that event, what is required is mainly well-groomed, pleasing personality and knowledge of service.
casual staff. Casual staff are hired for specific functions by the banquet head waiter and are responsible for carrying out any type of banqueting. Great care must be taken while engaging them as their honesty, behavior, service skill will have a great impact on the goodwill of the organization. After the event, they are paid and dismissed. Porters are hired to do heavy work, such as carrying furniture, vessels, and so on. They are assigned duties by the stewarding department during functions and hired permanently on contract or maybe on even daily wages. Room service is another department which is responsible for, for serving food and beverages in the guest rooms according to predetermined standards. All the activities of the room service department are controlled by the room service manager and his or her team. Uh, if we go about the opportunities available, the very first in this section can be room service manager. The room service manager must possess qualifications, experience, skills, and knowledge necessary for preparing budget for the department, preparing sales report, analyzing sales for managerial decisions on menu planning and pricing, handling guest complaints, procuring equipment required for room service department, such as arranging the trays, the trolleys, recruiting and training staff, coordinating with other departments, very, very essential, coordination with other departments. Why? Because if the room service goes to a particular room to deliver food and the person staying in that room complains about leakage of the water, that person is responsible to coordinate with housekeeping and inform them about the problem the guest is facing. This position people should be able to control labor cost, monitor performance of stop and prepare the bill. The next in this section is the room service captain. For this position, one must have good educational qualifications. Of course, experience and skills are required for each position. But this person should be able to receive orders, collect dishes from appropriate section of the kitchen, prepare indent for room service requirements, ensure cleanliness in the department, should be able to prepare the duty schedule for room service rewards, and ensure trays delivery as well as clearance from the rooms because normally the guests complain about the late clearance so clearance from rooms and timely clearance is one skill which this person must possess should also be able to supervise placing of fruit baskets and cookies in rooms according to the policy of the hotel once again you must know that fruit baskets, cookies, or chocolates are not placed in each room, only placed in VIP rooms. Also, this person should have skills in monitoring stock levels of the minibar and getting it replenished. Once again, dear students, you may be aware or you may not be aware. There are minibars attached in the rooms these days. There are automatic dispensers and there are also simply the bottles kept. So if it is only the bottle kept, it's the responsibility of the service staff to note down that how much of, from the bottle has been consumed and inform the bill section for putting that into the bill and should also be able to maintain stock of room service. Room service stewards, also known as room service waiters, floor waiters. In French, they are called chef de edge. This person is mainly responsible to perform lining trays and arranging them with basic service equipment and accompaniments. What are accompaniments? The accompaniments are that when you put the sauces, the spices, or maybe the tea bags, the sugar, and sweeteners. Setting up room service trolley should be well equipped in setting the room service trolley because the way the room service trolley has been set up is going to bring good name to the organization and if it has been haphazardly set up, it's going to bring a very bad name. Should be able to collect proprietary sources, disposables and so on from the stores. Should be able to stock dispense bar. This person should collect signature of guests on bills, 
and should hand over the same to room service order taker. Replenish minibars under direction of the captain. Clearing trays from rooms and corridors. Well groomed. Inform guest complaints and appreciation to the captain. Should be well aware and have pleasing personality. Now we'll discuss the different war positions available for as employment opportunities in a food service establishment. The bar serves different types of alcoholic beverages to residential as well as non-residential guests in the hotel. It may refuse to serve alcohol to guests who are under age or are already quite inebriated. The minimum age of a person for alcohol consumption should be followed strictly to avoid any legal or police action against the establishment. Now, knowledge of all these rules is compulsory for getting recruited at this position. The first position which is available for recruitment is bar manager. The bar manager must have knowledge about alcoholic beverages and skillful about recruiting staff and training them for bar operations, monitor performance and activities of bar and dispense bars, supervise alcohol service, forecast volume of sales. This point needs elaboration. When we say forecasting volume of sales, bar manager must be aware that on which particular day of the week or season or which particular month, the sales of which drinks go high or low. If we take an example, beer sale increases in summers. The wine sale increases along with food being served. So such things make him skillful to get this position. He or she should be able to maintain a close watch on movement of bottles. We all know that beverages and particularly alcoholic beverages are very, very expensive. So this person is responsible for pilferage. Should be able to prepare the budget for bar and dispense bars, identify alcoholic beverages suppliers and procure from them only. Because once again, these spurious practices also prevail in the society. In a bottle already used, they fill a local alcoholic beverage and sell it. So this person should be able to identify those suppliers who do not create mischief in this manner. Should be able to formulate beverage control system purchase bar equipment, maintain record of stock, handling guest complaints, and prepare sales report. One should be holding a degree or diploma in bar sales. Head bartender is responsible for the overall function of the bar and must be good at all those functions which we have already talked about the bar manager. The bar manager is the senior position and this comes next to him. He should be able to supervise the bartender, schedule rotas, receive stock from the seller, maintain bar stock level, train the bar staff in making cocktails, preparing glasses for drinks, and the particular glasses for particular drinks, for example, martini, glass, for example, the flute for serving uh, your uh, drinks and balloons. For all such glasses, should you should identify that which drink is to be served in which particular glass. He should be able to garnish the drinks, should know the service procedures, record orders, issue stock, taking, closing and opening stock, maintain empty bottle record and assist the bar manager in his daily duties and relieving him during his day offs and holidays. The bartender is the next position. This position is open for a person who possesses experience and competence for mixing and serving drinks to guests seated at the counter, pouring required measures against BOT. Now, BOT is a bar order ticket for bar waiters to serve guests at the table. Washing glassware and bar tools should be able to record sales, receive cash from guests, establish good relationships with customers. Next is the bar waiter or waitress. Anybody who can perform activities related to bar, serve in the bar, 
can be appointed as barometer. He or she should possess skills to keep the Miza Pla ready for beverage service, record beverage order on BOT, and collect them from the bar, serve guests alcoholic drinks at the tables in bar, restaurants, or even in lounge, and sometimes even on the swimming pool, clear glasses and leave them for washing, collect payment from the guests, or getting the bill signed by residential guests. There may be sometimes residential guests coming to the bar. They will not make direct payment there. So it's the duty and the skill required from a bar waiter or waitress to get the bill signed and not let the guest leave the bar without paying or signing the bill. Should be able to keep the tables clean and refer any complaints, whatever are received to the head bartender. Next, we'll discuss the qualifications which are essential for recruitment in food and beverage industry. We all know there are three levels of management. For top level management positions, the qualifications required are A levels in professionals or masters, bachelors and skills in job related subjects. When I say job related subjects, I mean if the person is employed in food production, should be well equipped in food production or if the person is to be appointed in bar, should be well aware about the functioning of the bar, so on and so forth. For top level management position, experience of working at high positions in food and beverage sector for a minimum of 5 to 10 years is essential and minimum two references are required. I have already explained that what are the references. For middle level management positions, A level bachelor diploma in the related subject with experience of two to five years and minimum two references are essential. For bottom level management positions, diploma, may be or may not be, skills in job related subjects and minimum one reference are compulsory. If you look at what are the benefits of working in food and beverage sector, it may also attract you to this sector. Though the job of food service personnel is very challenging, yet they have a very good scope of commencing their own business either by taking industrial or institutional catering on contract or starting their own food and beverage establishment. But certain other benefits can be food service professionals always work in hygienic environment. This is compulsory. They are usually provided duty meals and beverages. And most of the times they are provided accommodation, but this Providing accommodation is popular in resorts because resorts are always situated outside the city. So it's very difficult to commute from there and the resort people, they provide accommodation to their staff. Such people enjoy fine dining restaurants and banquets. Room service waiters get substantial amounts as tips and, you know, foreigners may tip them in foreign currencies. They also get opportunity to serve celebrities such as state level heads, prime ministers of our own nation and from other countries, movie stars and sports persons. The overall personality of the food service person improves dramatically. He or she becomes able to interact with people of different temperament, expectations and financial status which help him or improve her personality. There is regular interaction with guests to satisfy their needs and this, according to this, he can gain confidence. Good and talented food service professionals are identified and picked up for higher posts. So students, to conclude, food and beverage industry has glamour and talented persons can rise to high positions with their skills and acumen shown. Hard work, honesty, suave personality, along with good academic qualifications.
conditions, experience, and adaptability offers substantial number of jobs at different levels to young, to middle-aged, and to old aspirants. Thank you so much for listening attentively. God bless you. Keep learning. Keep growing. Thank you very much once again.